There are very few flies that we order 10 dozen at a time. This is one of them. The violet tailed jig from Fully Mill from Lubos Rosa. It's a competition fly that's tried and true. You got to check it out. Fly fish food. Okay, this fly has been one of our top sellers in the bin since we got it in. It's a Fully Mill fly called Rosa's Violet Tailed Jig. Um, it's a really, really straightforward fly. I've got a size 16 in the vise with a 3.2 millimeter bead. You can kind of change it up however you want. It's also important to note that the bead size on a jig hook doesn't necessarily match up exactly every single time. It's important to tie maybe this same size fly with a smaller bead as well for skinnier water. Hey, no. Sorry guys, Brigham was acting up. Okay, so I will dress the hook with... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've dressed the hook with thread. The tail for this is actually going to be just this hen's ice stub, UV ice stub. This is number 13, but anything that's lavender-ish or violet like this will do the trick. So I'm just going to pull out a chunk of it, maybe a little bit more. I want it to be somewhat thick. So about like that. And I'm going to take one side of that and just trim it. So that's going to be my tie-in point. So I'll get that tied down and I'm just going to cut it off and make a little tag. So that's the hot spot of this fly. As, you, as you've noticed, I'm using black thread. So um, there's not a hot spot near the front of the fly. The rib is going to be silver wire. So I'll just tie that in. And then just whatever hair's ear dub you like. You could use squirrel very likely. Um, I like to keep the body pretty slim. All right, so there's the body, and I'll counter wrap the body with the silver wire. And to, to break this wire off, here's a little trick. Instead of just starting helicoptering it off right here, if you bend it ag against exactly where it, it came into the tie-off point first, then start to helicopter it, it will break off in just a few rotations. All right, so now we're ready to put the collar in. This is probably the most complicated part of the fly, but still not very complicated at all. Um, and I'm gonna use my fancy multi-loop tool and my fancy multi-clamp tool. But whatever you like to use to get CDC in a loop, use it. So you don't wanna get too much CDC in here. So as you can see, I could get a whole bunch more CDC in my, my clamp, but I'm only gonna put about that much in because I don't want to overdo it. And then if you get some longer scissors like this, you can jump in here and trim it all off in, in one swoop. So I'll just build my loop and twist that up. If you want to see how to use this tool specifically, we'll put a link in our profile. Not a link in our profile. What do we do? We put link underneath the video. Goodness gracious, this isn't, not everything's Instagram, Brigham. He's a bad influence. Okay, so I'll build my CDC loop. So once I have it here, I'm just going to Give it a few wraps with the rotary vise and trim that off. I think I've switched scissors like four times this video. Now if you have any fibers that are too long, you can go in there and break them off, but I'm just gonna let it ride all natural. So this is like some black peacock ice dove. You can use any 
flashy darker color dubbing at the head of this fly and just dub it down nice and tight and wrap it on there just like that so from here we just whip finish trim it off maybe dab a little tiny bit of suit or uh, head cement on there but this is a super easy fly you can change the tail color you can you can mess with it but this exact color combination has been really really effective for us and a lot of our customers